Well, guys, we are following the Royals this morning. Lady Don Russell is an American turned aristocrat mom of two who married into what can best be described as a real life down nabby lifestyle. Don just stopped by the People Now Studios and opened up about how her extraordinary journey through stage three lymphatic cancer at the age of 25 ultimately led her to meet Lord James Russell. He's a member of one of England's oldest noble families. After that unlikely meeting, Jamie, as she calls him, would eventually become her husband. Check it out. It wasn't even like guy, girl meeting each other. I was so incredibly sick. He was in a eight year relationship. So it was incredibly real and authentic, us spending time together. I was trying to convince him to propose to her. I mean, it was, wow. Yeah, I mean, so it was just, it was real, you know, and it was really great because we, our foundation started at a very genuine, deep level. That's really great and obviously good for the long term, for sure. Uh, along with your title, Lady, which, yeah. which we're dropping, whatever, yeah. uh, this also kind of came with a package that included Woburn Abbey, right? Yeah. And this is a 15,000 acre estate with ties to King Henry VIII's reign. I guess what was the maybe the most, the, the biggest transitional thing where it's like, wow, this is a very different way of life than I'm used to. Well, I had to move to England. Right, that's a big one. That, that, was, that was really big. Right out of the gate. Um, I mean, it really is what comes with Jamie. And I very much am like, I mean, I don't mean to make it sound incredibly bland because it's not, but like any woman entering a relationship, you're like, okay, I'm meeting in-laws, I'm now moving countries, I'm moving in with a, with a man, you know, like there's so much you're acclimating to that... I really saw it as this is part of the package. What's really great about it is like it's this story of like true love hanging on in spite of all these sort of cultural differences. Oh, I know. Differences People love things, right? the whole romantic. That's like, great. It's, oh, I've heard it all. No, I've it's it it's really great. Okay, <laughs> so your children. Let's talk about them. They go to uh, Weatherby Prep School, where Prince William and Prince Harry attend. Yeah. Uh, or attended. What is what is a day in the life at Weatherby Prep? What 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 would that kind of snapshot be? And perhaps maybe something that would give us insight into what the princess went through as well. I will be honest, I was skeptical about Weatherby because obviously other elements of our life are quite formal and I really want my boys to feel, you know, two and five. I want them to feel as normal and, and, and that it's okay to be as normal as they want to. So I said to my husband, I'm, we're going to try out Weatherby, but I, I went there with a very kind of observant, skeptical okay, eye. Okay, wow. Well and love it. I have to say, yes, it is quite formal. There is a suit. I mean, putting a tie on my five-year-old every morning definitely still gives me a chuckle. <laughs> um, they have to tip their hat three times, which I'm still helping my five-year-old by like slowly picking it up sometimes, oh, you know? Funny. So yeah, there, there obviously are formal parts. Um, you know, he had to give a speech in front of his entire grade, not just little class, but his entire school, because um, they're very, you know, public speaking is, is something that's important. So there are aspects to it that I, as an American, see are so very different. That's and really that's cool to hear and kind of to get insight into that. And let's just be honest, there's nothing more cute than little kids that are dressed up in a tie and like formal wear, right? Yeah, I mean, and pulling, mommy, too tight, too tight. <laughs> you recently launched 8G. Tell me a little bit about this. Well, what happened essentially is when I had cancer, I didn't do chemo or radiation, and I went on a four-year journey finding integrative medicine. Um, ultimately ended back up in New York, focusing on my nutrition, and it was just such a whirlwind, and then to come back and have greens really be what got me back on my feet. Then having girlfriends ask me about greens and realizing you don't even know about greens, it became truly an obsession, and I needed that force of obsession behind me because to make this product, 8G took me five years. We came up with a product that has greens that taste good and doesn't smell. I mean, my five-year-old has it every day, so okay, that, that tells was you my lot. stamp right. of okay. if, I, if I have him asking me for 8G every day, it's all good.